like this day. place at all. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my round directly. Ah, but... In place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Here he is. This young man, it, we've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there, willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. At any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. 
Pray. Stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the Gracious Hand has a secret, tis the Abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the Abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, Will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the Abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. to do. Nothing ever seems to happen round here. Mayhap would serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? 
Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Ratcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you. Perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? Elena, ah yes, the abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once, I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering. But I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours. Now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I'm picking a few. I shall take this opportunity to observe our surroundings. Ah.
Aye? In need of a doctor, are you? What's this you're giving me? Oh, I see. You want me to run some sort of test on this? Determine what manner of substance it is? Interesting. Well, you've certainly piqued my curiosity. Whatever your reasons, I'll take a look. Naturally, I'll need a bit of time with it. Come back again in... Oh, I don't know. Later. Ah, there you are. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that concoction? Tis a fell thing you got there. To be plain, tis more poison than physic. It has the potential to heal one's ailment, certainly. But only if they could survive long enough, which isn't likely. Worse still, it has addictive properties that are likely to cause the patient to become dependent on its deadly effects. I say patient, but I should hope whoever made this did not intend it as a method of treatment. You'd have to be well and truly mad to attempt such a thing. If you again, what are you doing now? The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. <coughs> I fear I've much to attend to. What are you doing? Unhand me this instant. Many thanks for your assistance in this matter. Elena is being questioned as we speak. Suffice to say, your testimony, combined with the evidence you've procured, have cast a great deal of suspicion upon the abbess that she isn't like to shake. Pray have this, sir. Tis your reward for aiding us in our duty to this city.